What a horrible day. It's absolutely thrown it down with rain. I know. Alexa, make it sunny. That's it. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. This is a great effect and not too hard to do. What I needed for this video is some footage of me standing by the window when it was raining heavily. I then waited for a sunny day and left the tripod in the same place and took an image of just a window without me in it. I also downloaded some sad cinematic piano sound. I also downloaded the device sound. And I also chose audio from the library called Healing Sunshine. So I used all of these within the video. First thing I did was I dragged down the footage of me on the rainy day. I want to scroll across until I first start talking. And you can see here is the wave of me starting to talk. So I'll just close or shrink that down to there and drag it back to the start. So let's listen to what I've got to say first. What a horrible day. It's absolutely thrown it down with rain. I know. Alexa, make it sunny. That's it. And then I'll shrink it down at the end there. And that's the footage I need. Now you can see to begin with, the actual scene itself is quite bright and I want it to look dull because it's a rainy day. So I'll go to colour and I'll just play around with some of the settings. I'll move the brightness down, take the brightness down. I'll take the exposure down and I'll also play around with maybe with some of the temperatures, make it look a bit more grey and, and dull. Let's have a look at saturation, take out some of the colour. So there you go. It looks dull now. Right, now that's done, we can get the next bit of footage where it's sunny. Drag that on top. Again, I can chop that at the end there so it matches up. So I'll cut that and just delete that by pressing, make sure it's highlighted and pressing delete on the keyboard. Now all I want from this bit of footage is the window frame there where it's sunny. So let me just hide that for a second because I only need that when it says make it sunny make it sunny so I'll start there because that's the only bit of footage I need there so again I'll make sure I click the top bit of footage chop that and delete the first bit so now when sunny. it says that piece will kick in what I want to do is I need to they're not matching up at the moment, but I can fix that in a second. What you need to do to match them up is make sure you're over both of them. Click on the top one. Make sure you're on the video tab. Take the opacity down and then we can see through to the other one then. Now we can move it about so that we can line it up properly. So it's got to go left a bit. That doesn't look too bad. Looks like it needs to rotate ever so slightly. So let me just try a rotation on that. I'll say 0 0.50. Actually, minus 0 0.50, I think it might be. Okay, let's see what that looks. Let's go through. Yeah, that's not too bad. You can see a change in there. So let's put the opacity right away back up to 100% on that. We're just going to use a mask to cut out this window section here. Now, to be able to cut this all out, I just need to make it a little bit smaller. So I'll take the zoom level down to maybe, oops, wrong one, 50%, that's wrong. I'll take it down to 25%. I'll then go to mask, use a draw mask, and now I can come off the actual frame, you see. And I'll go there and I'll just follow. You can see I can actually pinpoint it by using a little circle there. I'll just, um, go right the way down off the screen along there and I'll follow the curtain back up here actually so let's just 
follow that line of the curtain okay and then we'll close that that's great now when I unhide the bottom one we can see we've got this I'll take it back up to zoom level fit and you can see now that it goes from dark to sunny quite quickly in fact you can see here just on the left I'm missing some of the curtain as I go from one to the other easily fixed I just drag this in until I can see the curtain underneath which is the one that I want sound like a living Newton John and John Travolta there don't I the one that I want <laughs> okay you might be too uh, too young to know what that is it's a song from the 1978 film Grease yeah that doesn't look too bad now what we need to do is change that to make it fade in once I say that so let me just see where to say it make it sunny so I want it to fade in from there and I want it to be sunny say round about there click on the clip go to basic and we're going to use a keyframe on the opacity click there make sure it's on 100% go back to the very start of the clip do another keyframe on opacity and take it right down to north and then it will fade in let me just render that because we've got a red line there and if you render a piece of footage it makes it run smoother so let's see what that looks like make it sunny there you go so it changes from there that might have been a bit too quick so let me just move this keyframe a bit further across and again I'll render it sunny that's how to do it now what you need to do is add in the device sound Alexa so that needs to go just after that I'll drag that underneath there see what that's like yeah. might be a little bit too quick let me try that a little bit further along Alexa that's better make it sunny and then we just add in the music the first one was the sad cinematic piano and I'll put that on the next audio track I want to stop that just before it starts changing to nice and sunny so I'll chop that there okay that might be a bit loud actually the waveform looks quite far out. Far out. yep very high so there are two ways of doing it you can go to audio and change the volume by using the slider there or you can just actually click and drag on that line and take it right down there we don't want it too loud it's just background isn't it? what a horrible day still a bit too loud i think let's take it down a bit more okay let's try that what a horrible day it's That's absolutely throwing it down with rain i know alexa make it so so what i might do is i might drag that a little bit further and then fade it out and the way to fade out music is there's a little dot there if you click and drag that that fades out the music make it sunny and then here we want to fade in the nice bright music so I've saved that under audio mine and don't forget it was called healing sunshine I'll drag that underneath again and start it where the sun one comes in actually there's a bit of a empty space there let me drag that get rid of that empty space or empty sound okay and start that there now I want to fade that in so I do the same grab the little dot and drag that again it's probably a bit too loud let's just try it's it. sunny oh yeah very loud <laughs> so I'll take that back down drag it down to about the same about 25 let's try that again 25 yeah now let's see what that sounds like yeah make it sunny okay I'll fade it in a bit more actually I think you can get away with that let's do it from the start see what that sounds what like. a horrible day it's absolutely throwing it down with rain i know alexa make it sunny that's it and once we finish we can just chop the music off at the end there and you can just let it stop or you can let it fade out as well i'll just leave it like that for the sake of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed that tutorial like i said great effect quite easy to do but it has a big impact 
If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification button. Thanks for watching. Now go have some fun.